Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to make a bracket for a conduit. So let's start with cylinder. Make it pretty smooth. Let's move it to the absolute origin. And we're going to cut a hole in it with polygon inset. So select the top one. Control, click, select the bottom one. And I want it pretty thin like that. And while it's still selected, connect them. Let's go to objects and scale it down a little bit. Make it bracket size. Like that. For the top view, I want to cut off the bottom half with polygon, shift alt and select the polygons you don't want. And let's use edge fill to fill in the lag there. Let's rotate it. Object to rotate around the X 90. And let's move it absolute origin so objects click and spacebar creates a copy scale it up a little bit 105 percent and we're gonna move it up a little bit and scale it like that it's the rib, the enforcement rib, reinforcement rib for the bracket. Okay, let's go back to the first one. And we're going to pull the leg down. Let's extrude. And just visualize a tube here. So we want to sit around it. So let's pull it down around there. Now I'm going to bend it around to make the foot. So one way to bend things is by extruding and rotating. I'll show you. So we're going to rotate. We're going to rotate around the Z. Oops. Minus 11.25. And let's do it in the world coordinates. And then you extrude it a little bit. And then you rotate again. This is two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and oh, extrude it a little bit more, and go back to the other object, find the bottom there, and extrude it to make it look good like that. Okay, we're ready to merge them. So, object, control click the other one and merge them. Let's go to the front view. We want to cut off that right half with polygon and shift alt and select the polygons we don't want. And let's edge fill it again. So edge, fill, select the edges that you want, with control click the other one and fill them. Let's put it on the K 
grid the whole thing so we go to objects and move it place on grid there we go go to polygons I want to look at this thing and I want to get the size and one way to do that is by extracting it and you can look at the size here it's 18 and 109 let's create a cylinder One oh nine eighteen one oh nine. I want to cut it in half, and I can do that with the helper object. So we create a cube, snap to grid, so we can place it precisely. Move it down a little bit, select the disk, control click the cube, subtract it. And let's move this to the place on grid as well. And move it over. So we want to move it around there. We don't want to make the foot of the bracket. And this other helper object we don't need anymore. Okay, select the big one, control click, select the little one and merge them. Now go to polygons, uh, first select the model, polygons. Select one of them, we're gonna make a little bridge. Control click the other one and connect them. Looks good. Let's drill a hole in the foot for the bolt and the screws. So create cylinder. Move it to the absolute origin. Position it. Scale it down a little bit. We can use the blue one to do it in just two directions. Like that. It looks pretty good. Select the big one. Control, click the little one and subtract. Select it. We're going to mirror it. Object, mirror, and we're going to mirror it over the Z. <coughs> Control, click the other piece and merge them. There you go, a bracket for a conduit. Thanks for watching. You can watch more tutorials at figaro.io.